Heading to Cape May for some shopping and dining on August 1st, the Nathus family from West Deptford paid the $1.50 toll and began to cross the Middle Thoroughfare Bridge. The family has had a house down North Wildwood since the late 70s. I've been on it numerous times every summer since. Suddenly, Jackie Nafis says she noticed something didn't quite feel right. My wife said, I think the bridge is opening. He accelerated, and of course, then we landed with a big impact on the other side, on the concrete on the other side. Biggest impact I've ever felt in my life, without a doubt. Inside the car, the couple, their daughter, and her friend all bumped and bruised, but fortunately, not seriously hurt. But their vehicle, not so much. This is their SUV right here. It looks okay, right? But most of the damage is here on the undercarriage. Just estimates of at least 10,000 without it being taken apart. The family is now trying to figure out how they were even allowed to cross the bridge in the first place. Just keeps replaying in your head. It, it, you would never think this could happen. Lower Township Police investigating. Their police report says the bridge operator did not notice the family's car because of a quote strong sun glare. It puts the blame on the Cape May County Bridge Commission for not being aware of the surroundings. Has anyone reached out to you? Uh, not the Bridge Commission. No, no one. Not not a soul from the Bridge Commission. We reached out to the the executive director of the commission, Karen Coughlin, who would not speak on camera, but released a statement saying the incident is being investigated. Basically, we would like to see something happen. Right. People cross that all the time. I mean, we won't again, yeah. but a lot of people do. Police say the bridge started opening because a fishing boat was trying to pass. The bridge also had no way of communicating with that boat because the vessel's radio was down.